Hey y'all, this is Southern Woods here. Welcome to another Ages of Conflict War Simulation. We're in the year 500 now, alright? Not too long ago, we we're in the year 300 where the Hopwell people uh, were able to win, alright? Utilizing various strategies, including the newly used puppet states, alright? Um, in the newest update of this game. Uh, but as you can see, a few nations are missing in our current timeline. Uh, with the Hopwell being one of those uh, peoples or nations that collapsed by the year 500 in real life. So they cannot defend their crown. They they no longer exist. The only addition is the Troyville people, all right, in this middle Mississippi region. Uh, there are 17 nations, two less than in the year 300. We still have the Martis, all right, that were the year one winners. Maybe they can come back with the Hopwell out of the question, out of the picture. So let's see what happens. Place your bets now. Who is going to win in the year 500? All right, who will be the first alliance? Who will be the first death? What is going to happen? The first uh, battle is going to be between the Teowakan people, which I think I'm finally pronounced correctly, and the Zapotecs as they go against one another. It looks like Troyville is picking on the woodland, all right, trying to get suffocated early. Meanwhile, the Teowakan people, RIP, um, no chicken joke for them this time as they die very quickly, as well as the Troyville. So, newcomer did not do very well. We have our first alliance between the Magolan people and uh, the Forsh Malines. So, they may be a Forsh to be reckoned with. Um, we will see what happens regarding that. The Pueblo people being attacked um, as the Hohokam take them out. And then the Washo are going to go against the Hohokam as well as the Martis. So big battles over here. Um, Mill Creek joined the um, Magolan Syndicate. What a name there. Meanwhile, the Washo were conquered by the Hohokam. And then Veracruz conquered down here by the Zapotec. All right. Meanwhile, Mossy Grove struggling in their uh, big battle there. The Martis people were conquered by the Hohokam, which are just wrecking house. Mossy Grove now able to fight back against the Magolan people. Mayans not teaming up with the St. Johnus this time as um, they conquer most of the St. Johnus and now they're a puppet state of the Mayan. Magolan people fell to Mossy Grove so they're going to get a lot of land there. Zapotec may want to get a piece of that as they go to war. Interesting. So the St. Johnus people are protected for now as a puppet of the Mayans. Not for long, though, as the Woodland people take out the St. Johnus and then the Zapotec. Hold on. Are they teamed up? They're not. The Zapotec just ended up taking out the Mayans for the Woodland, so both are going to benefit from that greatly. Race for the Caribbean as the Hohokam finally are uh, collapsing. They expanded very quickly. They were formidable there for a second, but the Coast Salish people are going to get a lot of that land as the Woodland get all of the Caribbean, it seems like. Big Caribbean battle between the Zapotec and the Woodland. Meanwhile, Mossy Grove also uh, moving down south. Meanwhile, Coastal Salish people conquered by the Plains Creek. All right, big race for that peaceful land out west. All right, we only have six nations or so left as the Zapotec land on Cuba and Jamaica. Moving through the Caribbean, now landing on South Florida. Let's see what the statistics here. Largest being Plains Creek and Woodland. All right, Mill Creek. All right, they, they haven't done much, okay? At least they haven't been a puppet state this time around. Talking about economy, uh, Mill Creek, Plains Creek. All right, so they ain't done much. They've just accumulated some money. And Force Moline being the richest. All these big nations uh, don't have much economy at all. So curious to see how that goes. There's only one alliance, and that is Operation Force Moline. All right. All these four going against the Plains Creek and the Zapotec, essentially. So, curious to see where this goes. Yeah, Woodland people just collapsed. They're not going to last much longer. Meanwhile, Force Moline becomes a puppet state of the Plains Creek. Interesting to see the border difference. That's the first time I really clearly noticed it. The Woodland somehow alive as they became part of the Mill Creek Alliance or something. I don't know. Mossy Creek now collapsed. It looks like uh, everyone's going to team up against them, essentially. All right, get rid of them. Um, 
they survived for a second, but the uh, Force Marine just essentially uh, gave up. Uh, they were completely seized by the Plains Creek. So we have the Woodland, again, somehow alive. Um, they moved their capital to, it looks like, uh, Jacksonville. Meanwhile, uh, Mossy Grove united into Plains Creek. So it's Plains Creek versus Woodland in this final showdown. Who will end up on top? Two of the biggest starting out in the year 500. And it looks like Woodland, again, they had some economy issues. They're going to collapse, and Plains Creek are going to end up winning in the year 500. So what did you all think about that? Uh, again, uh, the new puppet systems are very interesting. Kind of makes things confusing if you're trying to keep up with a lot at once. But the Plains Creek have won in the year 500. Like if you like this video. Subscribe if you want to see more and join the Southern Woods community. And I will see you in the year 700, I believe, as we fast forward and see how our current timeline differs from this one. And see who ends up on top in the all-out American war. Without further ado, y'all, Southern Woods out.